I'm delighted that we have such a large participation and such eminent speakers and experts to sit on our panel and to address us over today and tomorrow. So first, it's my great honor to welcome our chief guest, Mr. G.K. Rasan, the Honorable Minister of Shipping Government of India, who is known, I'm sure, to most of you in the audience. Uh, the minister has been a great supporter of the various initiatives taken up by CII in the logistics sector. In particular, all of you who live in this part of the country are aware of the exceptionally proactive role that the minister has played uh, in uh, the port affairs in, uh, in South India. And uh, over a period of time in upgrading, introducing technology uh, and new innovations in the port sector and shipping across the country. Um, his participation with us and support has been remarkable. We'd like to acknowledge it, Mr. Minister, and thank you for joining us today. Let me now add my welcome uh, to Tan Sri Abdul Rahman Mamad, who is the Director General of GCEL. GCEL actually stands for the Global Coalition for Efficient Logistics. And uh, Tan Sri Rahman, as I mentioned earlier, has held very senior positions um, in the Government of Malaysia's Ministry of Trade and Industry. Now, GCEL and CII have signed an MOU uh, during the Logistics Summit of last year, which those of you who attended that conference will remember. GCEL is a Swiss-based, non-profit, public-private partnership, and they work on comprehensive solutions to improve the efficiency of global logistics with a view to boosting global trade. So in continuation of our MOU with GCEL, CII has now become the country partner for the Asian Economic Development Fund for Efficient Logistics under the Asia Logistics Council of the GCEL. And so CII will represent India's interests and views in this Asia Logistics Council towards implementation of global logistics solutions, primarily aimed at raising the efficiency of the industry. Uh, GCEL, as you will hear, because uh, Tansri Rahman will be talking to us, uh, has come out with a unique shipment efficiency analysis project. Uh, and they're going to work with us in this country uh, to start a benchmarking study, which I hope will become, in due course, the industry benchmark uh, for us. I also take the opportunity to cordially welcome Mr. Gregory Bird, who is the Deputy Secretary General, and a host of other dignitaries from GCEL. We have a large delegation from there, and I'd like to thank all of you for joining us. Now, we're also very privileged to have McKinsey Consultants as our knowledge partner for this program. And I'd like to welcome Sumit Datta, the partner of McKinsey and Company. Uh, McKinsey have worked for this conference to prepare a research publication called Supply Chain, The New Normal. And uh, it's going to be released by the minister today. Uh, McKinsey will also be giving you a presentation in the next session to follow this inaugural session. So let me come quickly to CII and CII's agenda. Now first, at the national level, CII's uh, theme for this year, 2012-2013, as you know, is reviving economic growth, reforms, and governance. And so this theme effectively affords a high priority to restoring the country's growth trajectory while building at the same time global competitiveness, inclusivity, and sustainability. So towards this end, CII will advocate for measures to increase funds flows, improve fiscal consolidation, structural reforms, not only at the state level, but also at the center, spanning all sectors of the economy, agriculture, manufacturing, infrastructure, technology, and energy. On governance, our focus would be now on electoral reforms and effective regulation for all the core sectors. And alongside, the agenda will take our efforts forward in affirmative action, skill development, and international engagement. 
Now, CII operates in the logistics sector through one of its many institutes of excellence called the CII Center of Excellence, which is based here in Chennai. And the CII Institute of Excellence, which was formed in 2004, uh, addresses the need for sharpening India's competitive edge through better logistics and supply chain practices. And we have created a platform, uh, and we're about, I think, with the uh, energetic uh, uh, induction of Mr. Dinesh as the co-chairman of this council and through his uh, leadership, uh, we are going to launch a whole slew of new initiatives this year and the next uh, to take supply chain practices and awareness of these to the next level in India. And uh, among the range of services that the Advisory Council offers are education. We conduct short-term and medium-term courses. There's training at different levels. And here we look for partnerships, uh, to start with, with the National Skills Development Council. We have advisory services, research and publications, and we organize many events, of which this is one. And some of our key initiatives this year are green logistics, which is, which is new, uh, skill development, which I mentioned, and we hope to spearhead uh, the development of skills in this sector now, for which there is a very crying and urgent need. And we have two very interesting certification um, uh, achievements. One relates to warehouses. It's called the WAREX, W-A-R-E-X certification, which is a certification for excellence in warehouse performance. And we will help to rank and grade warehouses across the country, hopefully to drive efficiencies across warehouse management. We also have a certification called SCM Pro, Supply Chain Management Professional. Uh, and the object of this certification is to recognize and endorse the competencies of supply chain professionals based on their body of knowledge, and also to create motivations and help to attract high talent, good talent into our industry. Now, I don't want to talk about the India logistics sector because I think that's going to be the core of Mr. Dinesh's uh, discussions with us while he takes us through the theme of today. But we have seen in the last uh, six, seven, eight years a growing demand on the part of manufacturing industries to look at third-party logistics companies. And uh, corresponding with that, there has been an extraordinary improvement uh, and broadening of the services, skills, technology, which third-party logistics companies are deploying in the service of their manufacturing clients uh, to bring about greater efficiencies. And so uh, our business really is to look at how to increase the awareness and how to work with the government to improve the infrastructure that sustains efficient, and by efficient I mean cost-effective, logistics practices across the country. There are many excellent models to draw from, not only in the developed world, where they have taken multimodal logistics and the planning for all modes of transport and their integration into logistics networks to a very high level. But also in the emerging markets now, there is a great deal of work. There is a National Transport Development Policy Committee chaired by Dr. Rakesh Mohan and appointed by the Prime Minister's office. Uh, to take a look at a long-term, a four, five-year plan long-term, that is to say, 20-year plan uh, for building a multimodal transportation network across the country. And this committee has uh, traveled uh, to nearby countries, and we find that even in countries like South Africa, they have a 15-year plan with a three-year rolling plan looking at the integration of ports, roads, and railways.